Bailey and I just ran out for a little bit. We ran past Mark's because the tank tops that I ordered a month ago are finally in. And then we went to Michael's because I had to pick up some stuff from that the girls had ordered, just some wire for their jewelry making that you saw last night. And then we ran into a quick uh, stop at the pet shop to see if there was a harness for our little kitty and there wasn't. And then we ran into Walmart. So first of all, I'm going to show you my new tank tops from Mark's. I'm on the fence of, um, for a couple of them and I'm just trying to decide what to do. This is option number one. This is option number two. I have my ugly painting pants on because we're still trying to finish the kitchen. So I quite like these two. I had to loosen the knot because I'm a little bigger in the hips than I am in the waist or the chest. So option number two. Option number three. It has cute crochet detail down the back and across the shoulders. I think it looks better in the camera than it does in real life. I think it'll soften up as I wash it, but the fabric is a little bit stiff right now and I'm trying to decide. So that's option number three. And this is option number four. Same detail down the back and on the shoulders. So they're a little bit baggy. I feel like I could have maybe used a smaller size. But I also think that it'll soften up as I wash them. I'm hoping they'll be softer after a wash or two. The only problem is that, as usual, it will probably shrink in length up this way instead of kind of in from the sides. So I have to decide whether or not I want to keep them. They weren't that expensive. Maybe I'll keep them, give it a try. It's just usually once you wash them, you can't take them back. Those are the tank tops that I ordered. I was hoping to have them to go to my parents' house, but I have a couple of maxi skirts that I don't have tops to go with. So this gives me some tops to go with some of them anyway. Maybe not all of them, but at least some options for some of those skirts. This week coming up is our anniversary, Caden's birthday, and then three days later, Riley's birthday. So when I went to Walmart, I bought yogurt and uh, creamer and things like that. I also bought ice cream cones and ice cream for the kids because it's hot and fairly warm out today and it was just a nice treat. Clancy had suggested I drop past McDonald's, but I thought it would be just as nice to buy like three different flavors of ice cream, a bunch of ice cream cones and bring them home. And they really enjoyed it. I'll show you the other things that I bought. For Caden's birthday, I bought a Minecraft tablecloth, some plates, some fun balloons for him, some cute napkins, and some cups. He's not really excited about his birthday this year. He's 13, which is a big deal. So this was an author that Bailey loved when she was younger, and she's thinking that Tegan would enjoy reading these. And so I'm hoping that she enjoys them. And then for Caden's birthday, he keeps talking about growing a mustache. Every couple of days, he shows us his mustache and he wants us to notice that it's there and admire it. And so anyway, so his brother keeps telling him that if he shaves, that his mustache will come in a lot thicker. And so he keeps talking about shaving. So we got him a Harry's razor, shaving gel, aftershave balm, and we also grab some wrapping paper so that we're ready to wrap when it's time. I have a few other things for him, but we'll keep those a surprise until his birthday. We are still working on the kitchen and I don't really want to reveal it until we're about done. We thought we could flip them over and finish painting the backsides today, but it turned out that when you walked out into the garage, you could see across the top of them when you open the garage door. Uh, the light would shine in and you could see that there were like shinier spots and not shiny spots, like matte color. And I don't want them to look like that. So I touched up the fronts of almost every single one and we're waiting for those to dry so that we can flip them over and work on the other side again so that we can uh, get them up. And once they're up, I will reveal our new kitchen to you. Look what Clancy just made. It's so pretty. Is she saying goodnight to you? I was wondering where she was.
Do you love her? Yeah. Yeah. She has a